and that she chose to pay for the windshield out of her moral consciousness. She had no legal obligation to have to pay for that windshield. And Nina was able to take care of it whenever she chose to, because it was still drivable. So, because she chose to do something out of her good moral character, it does not bind me legally. If she wanted me to be binded legally to this, then she should have had Nina bring this lawsuit to the table. <laughs> I know that look. That's the same look I give him, Your Honor, whenever he tells me that that's his legal defense. He's responsible. Well, then that means we agree, because he's right. What you essentially did is give her a gift. He didn't agree to reimburse you, and where's the agreement? He was the cause of the damage. So that's why she's just suing. She should. Everything he's saying is between them two. Every single thing. Not one thing involves you in this incident. She attacked him, he alleges, assaulted him, damaged his property. She says, or you say on her behalf, that he broke her windshield or damaged her windshield. Both of those are between the two of them. And so unless one of them made some type of agreement with you, what you did was help your friend who was victimized by your brother, but your brother says the reason is because she physically attacked him and also broke his property. So that's the two of them. You just being a good friend unless he agreed. I will reimburse you, sister. I know I damaged your friend's property. I'll give it to you because I know you gave it to her. Now, was that ever said? No, it was not, Your Honor. How do you think the legal connection, you are not expected to be lawyers, uh, but obviously he's been in front of some lawyers or judges <laughs> because <laughs> he went right to the law. So what would be your legal belief or understanding? Under what legal theory? You probably don't have a legal theory in the world because legal theories come with legal knowledge.